Hello viewers, in this video we will see profitability ratios. First we will see the meaning of profitability ratios. Profitability ratios measures the ability of a business to earn profit for its owners. Okay, using this ratios the firm's ability can be measured. Whether the firm is earning the profit or not can be ascertained through this profitability ratios. And this profitability indicates the efficiency or effectiveness with which the operations of the business is carried on. Okay. It will indicate the efficiency of the business. If a poor operational performance will result in poor sales and therefore there will be low profit and low profitability may be due to the lack of control over the expenses. Okay. This can be measured using this profitability ratios. This is the chart of the types of ratios. Okay. We already saw the solvency ratio that is short term liquidity ratios we saw and long term solvency also we saw on our previous video and in this video we will see this profitability ratios. Under profitability ratios you have 10 ratios. Okay. In this video we will see few ratios among them. Okay. In our next video we will see the other ratios. Okay. And uh, this is turnover ratio. Under turnover, we have 9 ratios. Okay. We'll see in our upcoming videos. Okay. Um, these are the formulas under this profitability ratio. Gross profit ratio. This is nothing but gross profit divided by net sales into 100. Net profit ratio. Net profit divided by net sales into 100. Operating profit ratio. This is operating profit divided by net sales into 100. Next, operating ratio. Cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales into 100. Okay. There is a relationship between this operating profit ratio and operating ratio. Because if we add the two ratios, we will get 100 percentage. Okay. While doing the problem, you will come to know. Okay. Specific expenses ratio. Specific expenses divided by net sales. This is nothing but if any specific expenses was given in the problem. Say for example, it may be administrative expenses or selling at distribution expenses or financial expenses. Okay, whatever the expenses may be. Okay, that expenses divided by net sales into 100. That is specific expenses ratio. And this is earning per share. Earnings, that is net earnings divided by number of equity shares. Payout ratio, dividend on equity shares divided by net earnings. Return on shareholders fund. Net profit after interest and tax divided by shareholders fund and return on total asset is net profit after interest and tax divided by total tangible assets. Interest coverage ratio. This is very important ratio under this profitability. Net profit before interest and tax divided by fixed interest charges. Okay. We will see this in our later video. Okay. Okay. First we will see what is meant by this gross profit ratio. Okay, this explains the relationship between the gross profit and net sales. Okay, uh, here you can easily find out this gross profit using the sales and cost of goods sold. In sometimes uh, the gross profit will be given in the problem itself. In that case, you can take that. Otherwise, you have to find the gross profit using this formula. Okay, and net sales, you know what is that? It is sales minus your sales return. Okay, and next one is. Net profit ratio. Net profit ratio is nothing but net profit divided by net sales into 100. Okay. This net profit we can derive by gross profit minus your expenses. Okay. It may be your operating expenses or it may be your non-operating expenses. Okay. Whatever expenses we have to subtract and if there is any income, it may be your non-operating income or uh, operating income. Okay. If income is there we have to add it okay so through that we can be able to arrive this net profit and net sales is the same like uh, gross profit ratio okay and next ratio is operating profit ratio this is operating profit divided by net sales into 100 this operating profit is nothing but your gross profit minus operating expenses okay i hope you all know what all operating expenses we can arrive this operating profit either using this gross profit or the net profit. Okay. This is gross profit concept that is gross profit minus operating expenses and this is net profit. You, using this we can also find out this operating profit. We have to add the non-operating expenses. Okay. 
that is the expenses which do not affect the operation of the business okay for example we can say interest paid okay dividend paid this won't affect the business okay and the, we have to subtract the non operating income non operating income means profit on sale of uh, any asset okay or uh, it may be a uh, interest received okay this and all will come under this non operating e incomes okay operating expenses which will get affected by the operation of the business okay it depends upon the operation of the business and non operating means it will not depend on the operation of the business okay and net sale is the same as we calculated earlier okay okay we can find this operating ratio using this cost of goods sold plus your operating expenses divided by net sales this cost of goods sold is nothing but your sales minus gross profit and the operating expenses includes the office expenses selling and distribution overhead okay the expenses which will get affected through this operation of the business okay that is termed as operating expenses and the net sales sales minus sales returns okay let's see one problem from the following summarize profit and loss account calculate gross profit ratio net profit ratio operating profit ratio operating ratio okay um the trading and profit and loss was given okay using this trading and profit and loss we have to find all this ratios okay we'll see how to find yes first gross profit ratio and the formula is gross profit divided by net sales into 100 okay both the things are given in the problem see here gross profit is 2 lakh 1000 and net sales is 5 lakh 60000 okay because we don't have sales return here okay so the sales will be the net sales okay if we substitute in the formula we'll get 35.89 percentage okay this is the gross profit ratio and the next one is net profit ratio and the formula to find the net profit ratio is net profit divided by net sales into 100 in this problem net profit was also given that is 80000 and we have the net sales that is 5 lakh 60000 so if we substitute in that formula we'll get 14.28 percentage okay and the next one is operating profit ratio okay operating profit ratio the formula is operating profit divided by net sales into 100 okay using two approaches we can find this operating profit we have gross profit approach and as well as net profit approach okay we'll do it here with gross profit approach okay operating profit is nothing but gross profit minus operating expenses yes here the gross profit is 2 lakh 1000 and the operating expenses we have to find and the formula to find this operating expenses is administrative expenses plus selling expenses yes we have administrative expenses 20000 and selling and distribution expenses 89000 so together we'll get 1 lakh 9000 okay so now we can find out this operating profit because we have gross profit in the problem and we found what is this operating expenses so if we subtract that we'll get operating profit yes 92000 is the operating profit okay and we know what is this net sales it is given in the problem okay if we substitute will get 16.42 percentage okay and the next formula is operating ratio okay and the formula to find this operating ratio is cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales okay cost of goods sold is nothing but your sales minus gross profit okay that is cost of goods sold yes see 5 lakh 60000 is the sales and gross profit is 2 lakh 1000 so we'll get 3 lakh 59000 okay and operating expenses we know this is administration expenses and selling at distribution expenses okay if we add it we'll get 1 lakh 9000 okay if we substitute in this formula we'll get 83.57 percentage okay see if we add this operating profit ratio and operating ratio i said we'll get 100 percent okay yes we found that operating profit ratio is 16.42 right and this is 
83.57 okay if we add this we'll get 100 percent okay we can confirm our answer with this okay i hope now you can able to solve this profitability ratios right i have given you a small problem for you to practice you just work out this problem and comment it i'll check your answer thank you for your patient listening